Dear students, I welcome you all to this tutorial series in digital electronics. In this video, we will learn about how to express a sum of product or product of some expression in their standard form. So first of all, we have to understand what is SOP. SOP means it is the sum of product. That means suppose we have a term AB plus BC. So this is a product term, this is a product term and we have the sum of them. That is the sum of product. Okay. And if we say product of sum, that is P O S. These are the basic concepts we have to understand. This P means product of and S means sum. Okay. And what will be the expression look like? It will be look like A plus B multiplied with B plus C. This is one example I am showing here. So you have to understand that it is the product of sum. Here A plus B, this is the sum and B plus C, this is another sum. And we have done the multiplication or it is the product of these two sums. So these are the examples of sum of product and product of sum. Then we have to understand what is a standard form. So a standard form is nothing but it is the form of a given function where all the variables are present in each term. I am repeating, it is a form of the expression, the given expression where all the variables are present in each term. So standard form, let me write down here. Suppose we have a function ab plus a c here we can see we have three different variables a b and c okay these are the three different variables but in each term this is one term this is another term so in each term we are not having all the variables okay we will see with one example i will directly go to one shortcut technique through which you can find out the standard form of a given function suppose we have a function f of a comma b comma c this means this is a function of three variables a and b and c suppose we have the given function is a plus b bar c suppose this is the given function and what is it it is sum of product or product of sum this is the sum of product expression and we have to express it in standard form so let me make a table here suppose a b and c these are the three variables okay now we are given with two terms here one is term is a and another term is b bar c b bar c means b bar is also called as the b complement okay so that is the complement of the variable b now what we'll do we'll write down each of this term let me draw a line here so that it uh, becomes easier for you to understand okay so let me write down here a a means a here it has no complement so what we'll write in the sum of product expression so we have to understand first a concept sum of product a when we write a means it is the one value when we write a complement it is the zero value so this is for sum of product expression and when we have product of sum expression what will happen when we write a this means equal to zero when we write a complement this means one okay so these are the two conditions you have to understand or you have to memorize okay now let me write here this is the sum of product expression so we'll consider this part so whenever we have a and here two variables are absent because in the sum of product standard form we have to do some mechanism such that each term of the sum of product expression has all the variables so let me write down here a means it is the one value and b and c there are two other variables that we have to express this a okay so we have zero zero we'll be having four different combinations zero one one zero and one one these are the four different combinations of b and c because in this first term i am writing here for this first term we have 
only a variable and we have to introduce b and c so a value will be one for all the cases because a have no complement then we have b bar c okay so this was one term and we have b bar c that is b complement means in the case of sum of product expression we have when we have complement it means zero and when we have don't have any complement then that means one okay so let me write down here so b bar c b bar c means we have to introduce a or we have to include a with this term okay so we'll find out a and b bar means it is zero i am writing under b column and c means one so zero one zero one why i am writing two times because we have to introduce now a a will be having zero and one value okay we have only one variable that means we have to add only a in the second term now we have got the table from here we have to see this is the sum of product expression one means what it is a non-complement so we will be writing a and b means here 0 and c is 0 so here we'll be writing b bar c bar are you getting now let me go to the next one 101 0, 1. that means a b bar c now next 110 that means a b c bar okay 111 means a b c in this way we can write down here a bar b bar c next we have a b bar c okay these are the terms now if we want to express it in sum of product expression f of a comma b comma c let me write down here this means 100 zero zero means it is 4 so it is the mean term for small m 4 okay then we have 101 means it is 5 m 5 this is 110 means m6 next we have what well, abc 111 means this m7 just to convert this number into its decimal equivalent and you write in the suffix of small m and in this case also we have m1 and in this case we'll be having this is 101 means this is 5 okay so we have this 5 and m5 here common we have to write only once okay so let me write down here so we'll be having the this is the summation of m4 plus we have m5 plus m6 plus m7 plus m1 and we have m5 or we have already included so if we write in sum of product so we'll be having summation small m and within bracket we have to write this number so we'll be having one four five six so this is the sum of product expression in the standard form so if we write or if we expand this what will be having f of a comma b comma c in the sum of product expression will be having so one one means this one so a bar b bar c plus next we have m4 so a b bar c bar plus then we have m5 m5 means a b bar c plus next we have m6 m6 means 110 110 means a b c bar okay so this is the standard form of the sum of product expression okay are you getting my point up to here let me once again repeat you have to find out whatever with the term here you will be writing here this second term i have written here this is the second term okay so these two terms you have to write here next what will happen a is in a present in this term so a means it is one 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 in because it is the sum of product expression and we have to find out or we have to include b and c b and c will be having four combinations zero zero 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. so a will be one for the first term and for the second term we have b bar c so may write twice b bar c b bar means zero and c means one zero one zero one and for a we have to include here so a will be having zero and one values okay so in this way you have to find out now let us express it in product of some expression 
product of a capital M means it is the max term. Small m means it is the minimal term or min term. Or capital M means maximal term or max term. So here we'll be having the numbers that are not present here. So here we have 0 and 1 is present, 2 and 3 is not present, 2, 3 and 7 is not present. So this will be the product of max term expression. So if we want to express it in standard form or the expanded form so we can write here zero means now we have to see this this part okay so let me use another color here now this is the product of some expression a means zero a bar means one okay so in this way we have to express this product of max term here so from here we can write zero means it will be a plus b plus c because this is the product of sum so this is the first sum then we have to multiply with the second term second term will be 2 2 means it is 0 1 0 0 means a 1 means b bar plus 0 means c okay so in this way you have to write down then we have 3 3 means 0 1 1 0 means a plus c bar and the fourth term is 7 7 means it will be a bar plus b bar plus c bar okay are you getting this point so this is the product of some expression in standard form so f of a comma b comma c these are the three variables a b and c and this is the product of some standard form and this is the sum of product standard form i hope you were benefited from this video thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you